All right, today, guys, we're going to make um, <clears throat> some taco soup. And I'm starting out with one pound of ground turkey. And I added garlic powder and minced onions to it. And I'm just browning the meat. And then I'm going to add a can of corn, a, a large can of sauce, tomato sauce, one can of rotel, one can of black beans. And then you're going to put some taco seasoning in it. So we're going to come back um, as soon as this meat is brown and we'll add the rest of the ingredients. All right, while we're waiting for the meat to cook, here's Princess enjoying her spiral. I got her at PetSmart. Oh, <laughs> Princess, did you see that? And Gunner is here. Say hi, Gunner. And there's Woo and Madison. Hi. All right, back to the taco soup. All right, now meat's all brown and steamy, so we're going to dump everything in. And don't drain anything. You need the liquid because it's soup. So we got our can of corn, our can of black beans. I'll scrape those out. Our can of Rotel. That's gonna add some uh, chili flavor. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Diced tomatoes and green chilies. Oh, it smells so good. All right, and we're gonna add the can of tomato sauce. And we're gonna stir that around. Oh, look at that. Oh, yummy. Oh, I'm glad it's almost time for dinner because this smells so good. Now, I'm home today. I have the kids. Gunner was sick, um, and um, I picked Madison up from school, and so I'm here. So, But if you did, don't have time um, to come home, if you're going to be getting home late and you want a nice dinner, um, you can put this in the crock pot. You can put it in a crock pot in the morning. So most of the time, I do make this in the crock pot. But today, um, I had time, so I didn't have to. So um, next is the taco seasoning. I just use um, regular, and there's just a little bit left in this container, so I'm going to use all of it. You just sprinkle in however much flavor you want. So we don't really measure here. <laughs> I'm going to stir that up. If you want more flavor or if you don't like using the mix stuff, you can use chili powder and um, um, different seasonings to make um, it like chili. Sometimes I'll just put the chili powder in here. Mm, look at that. Yummy. All right, so I'm going to turn this down to simmer and I'm going to put a lid on it and we're going to let that um, sit on the stove for about 15-20 minutes and I'll come back and keep stirring it and checking on it and then um, we will serve it with shredded cheese, sour cream, guacamole and um, maybe some Fritos, um, Doritos whatever you like you can serve this with you can put some lettuce shredded lettuce on top some tomatoes uh, you make it however you want it all right so we'll be back to show you the finished product all right it's done so i'm gonna make i made my bowl and um i put some sour cream and some guacamole in there and i'm going to eat it like that I'm just going to mix it up. The kids are going to have um, elbow noodles. Madison wanted elbow noodles, so we're making some of those. And they'll probably put cheese on theirs. So I'm going to taste this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm, that guacamole gives it a nice kick there. Mmm. All right, you guys have to try this. It's so good. So, 
that was over five minutes of video, but it took me probably like 15 minutes to throw it all together. So if you came home and you're looking for a quick dinner to make, um, you could throw this together in like 15 minutes. You just brown the meat and then throw all your stuff in the pan. And I only used one pan. I browned the meat in this pan and then I added everything to it and I let it cook. So you don't even have to dirty many dishes for that. So you guys make you some. And thank you for watching our video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And, and make this recipe. And enjoy it. And uh, we will see you later. Thanks for watching. Oh, if you haven't liked or subscribed or shared our page, please do that. We are trying to reach a thousand subscribers. And we will get there. Yay! See you later.